always liked that one. A real rat tat tat of rallies. She's broken a racket. Walks to the back of the court, throws it out. The lad who strings these things will be rushing around the court to get it repaired instantly. Leeling wheel, a little bit of a comeback here, 4-7. Two points. Seven. Hanai Ping says, can you knock it up? Leeling Wei does. She hits it once. And off we go. Distressed of the two Hanai Ping. I think Eddie Chung is right. I think she is the harder hitter. Well, that's, that's the kind of short clear that there's always a temptation to hit. Just as easy to win the point by letting it go out. Strong, but I think Leeling Wee thinks the game's finished. You only score one point at a time. And the crowd give her a sympathetic clap. Very embarrassing to lose the score in front of 16,000 people. But this game point, she hits it out, so she can change now. Second game to Hanai Ping, 11 4. Players now entitled to a five minute break, which gives me an opportunity to bring Eddie Chung back into the conversation. Eddie, that was a relatively uninspired game, I have to say. There were about two good rallies, and I Ping dominated it. Don't you think so? Oh, yes, I agree with you very much, uh, Craig. Uh, here, you, uh, Han Hai Ping has come on to the good side. And with her superiority on, in control of shots, that, that was why mainly the game uh, did not uh, produce any long rallies as we saw in the first game. Uh, and also, usually after the first game, the player who has the better hitting power uh, after getting the opponent uh, slower on the legs, the better hitting power player would usually come on his own. Right. I'm interested to hear you say that uh, there's a good end and a bad end. Uh, I think the drift is slightly from left to right. Uh, have you been speaking to any of the players? Do you think that there is uh, an advantage to be uh, the, at the end of the referee's table? Uh, yes, there's always an advantage on this side. 
because there is not only a wind blowing from left to right, but it blows from the opposite of the uh, Empire Stable towards the Empire Stable. So there is uh, an, another uh, same breeze blowing against the, uh, the Empire Stable. I see, I see, I see. Now, under the laws of the game, the two girls may leave the court, change the shirt, tile themselves down, do whatever they like, but they're also allowed to speak to their coaches. They must have separate coaches. I know that the national coach of the Chinese team wouldn't take part in this. What do you think the coach might be saying to Li Ling Wei now? Uh, I think uh, usually uh, both of them come from different provinces uh, of China, and that's where the rivalry is, where China is concerned. They usually advise their, their own coach from each area of China, and uh, if uh, that is the case, uh, where Han I Ping and Li Ling Wei come from different parts of China, then they would definitely have different coaches. Right, on that assumption then, what do you think Li Ling Wei will be being told? Well, uh, Li Ling Wei would try now to run uh, Han I Ping, open up the court and run Han I Ping more rather than to allow her to dictate the play. And I think here she'll be back onto the good side. That is the side against the wind. Yep, yep, yep. Just as we were talking there, the cameraman got a picture of the president of the Danish association, Freda Kruse Christiansen, speaking to Danish radio, who have a live link to Copenhagen. Their man estimates that about four and a half million Danes will have their radios tuned in to hear if Martin Frost can win the world title. Sorry, I interrupted you. You think Li Ling Wei is going to try to run her around more? I think I would agree with that. What would Han I Ping do to counteract that? Well, since uh, Li Ling Wei will be on the... When we say the side that with the wind, it will be rather difficult to control the chapel, and she would actually have to try to keep with uh, uh, Li Ling Wei until she gets to the other side. I see. It's a little bit of a shame that the toss would choose sides seems to play such an important part, but it's not unusual for there to be a bit of drift in a stadium of this size. Uh, it definitely will always, there will always be a, 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 a drift in any big stadium, but I think it depends on the style that you play whether you would like to be against the wind or with the wind. Right. Thank you very much, Eddie. Two girls now back on court. And I think stretches. Maybe she's had a premonition that she's been listening to Eddie's remarks and she knows that she's going to be run around. Let's wait and see what happens. Dennis Lee, umpire, calling them to order. Remember the first two games, 12-10. Tight first game to Li Ling Wee relatively easy win 11-4 to Han I Ping in the second. Third game. Love all. Play. And off we go. getting a shot of the cameraman who got that slightly unusual picture. These pictures coming to you from Chinese Central Television here in Beijing. And a very excellent job they have made of them. Love all. No quarter asked or given now. First 
flood to the defending champion, Han Ai Ping, won this title in 1985, and she defended successfully. Show is over, love one. Part of the huge crowd here. Retrieving by Hanai Ping, but not quite good enough to prevent the kill at the net. There she goes. Proof of what Eddie Chung was saying. Good hitting power. that last clear was just out. Anybody would be blowing hard after a rally like that. Kneeling we ready to receive. And I think serves high.
fine backhand smash. Crowd thoroughly enjoying this. championship final. First game to Li Ling Wee, 12 10. Second game to Hanai Ping, 11 4. Three, five. Now 3 5. Service over, 5 3. Slight service. And I think the chance to add to her count. Not only is she graceful and mobile, she's also very, very quick. into it. Four or five. Ties it up. Five all. Can't be much tighter than that. Game all. Five all. The World Championship medal at stake. Both girls have won. Service over. Five all. They would like to have a matched pair, I'm sure. again, just out. Just out. She must have thought that was going to put her in comfortable lead. Leeling we serves. And was always in trouble in that rally. Right in her backhand corner, tight in the net, well played by the defending champion. Of course, 
five eight. She trails. Third game. Six eight. Six eight. The crowd give her a clap of encouragement. Shuttle hit the bottom of the tape, but it climbed over. that rally one now two points down what can Lee Ling Wei do how will she play this she's going to serve low interested spectator says did it go over that wins it 9-6 2 to go 2 points away from a world title match point can she successfully defend the world title first girl ever to do so crowd give her a great cheer she acknowledges it with a racket Match point, leaving we wait. Low serve, quick return. And she lives to fight another day. Beautiful drop shot, her partner already going back for the clear. Ping in very quickly on the net. 10-7, second match point. Serves high. Put the back hand out. Lily Wing still there. 7-10. Final game. shout of encouragement from the crowd. Match point, third time. I serve this time. Terbesar di Beijing, Indo Stadium yang terbesar, menampung 18.000 orang penonton dan di sini lagi ada beberapa kejuaraan besar-besaran dan permainan badminton, table tennis dan juga gymnastik.
pemenang-pemenang bagian pertarungan wanita Hana Epeng mengangkat tangan tempat yang kedua Li Ling Wei Kemungkinan besar ini merupakan kali terakhir Hang Nai Peng akan bermain dalam kejuaraan antarabangsa kerana dia telah menyuarakan hasratnya untuk bersara dari dunia badminton antarabangsa. Namun demikian inilah wajah mungkin kita saksikan kali terakhir wajah jago badminton bersarangan wanita dunia menjadi juara kejuaraan sedunia berturut-turut tahun 85 Kaltri dan tahun 87 di Beijing. Dan melambaikan tangan sekarang ini Li Ling Wei Tak syak lagi merupakan uh, Pemain yang seorang lagi dari negeri China Merupakan jago wanita terkemuka di dunia Li Ling Wei telah menjuarai kejuaraan ini Dalam tahun 83 di Copenhagen Dan selain daripada itu telah juga menjadi juara All England Dan banyak lagi kejuaraan-kejuaraan antarabangsa Yang disandang oleh Li Ling Wei Yang masih berusia 23 tahun Dan masih lagi akan bertanding di gelanggang badminton antara bangsa bagi tahun-tahun yang akan datang.